it will automatically scan their LinkedIn profile. You can add a custom variable called icebreaker and the AI will automatically write a personalized icebreaker based on what you've enriched it with. Insane. Wait, we're we'll say Insane. that one more time. I want to hear that one more time. We're we'll actually <laughs> that one more time. I'm sitting here thinking and it's giving me a bunch of Crazy, ideas. So right? I know people listening to this, this is going to bring a lot of value to them. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Eight Figure Agency Show, where a successful entrepreneur and a soon to be successful entrepreneur help you build an eight figure agency by documenting our successes and our failures. And, ladies and gentlemen, the long awaited, or mainly about a week of waiting, episode is here. This is the continuation of last week's episode where we told you guys to tune back in because you guys are about to get a full breakdown of how I have automated my entire sales sequence and have gone from spending over 40 hours a week on this system per week to literally down to two to three a week. It is game changing and it costs less than $1,000 a month all in for this. Let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comments below and uh, let's just dive right into it. I'm going to get really vulnerable and I'm going to share something that's going to be a really valued people because I'm building this live. Gary, you might find this valuable as well. Um, I've been doing everything manually through a Google Sheet. So what I'm working to figure out now is the following. We Have you heard of Lemlist before? Mm -mm. Okay, so Lemlist is a cold email software, but it's amazing. The best one I've played with because it allows you to do a sequence where you can automate your follow-up, but not just cold email, LinkedIn messages and LinkedIn profile views. It is actually insane, Gary. So you can set up a sequence, in you can set it up, connect it with HubSpot. So what I've done is I've moved my... Um, um, I've moved my CRM from Google Sheets to HubSpot, started playing with that, have integrated Lemlist and HubSpot. Now I use Sales Navigator to prospect. I put those leads into HubSpot. HubSpot then can integrate with Lemlist. And Lemlist, I have sequences built out where it's like, send the first email and this is the template. And it can do hyper-personalization at scale, which is insane. Like Lemlist is actually insane. Do they build the, where are you getting the lead list from? So we're, we're, we're you prospecting on Sales Nav. We're going on sales now, finding our list, and we're building lists. So we went from having to write everything, and I'm still in the process of building this out. Sales right? Nav so on LinkedIn, works, right? Sales Nav on LinkedIn. Yes, okay. Sales Nav on LinkedIn, right? So we find the leads on Sales Nav LinkedIn, or we use Crunchbase or anything else. But what I'm learning now is, and this is where my expertise doesn't you know, go right now, is how to actually segment a list properly. That's the next thing I have to learn. But in Lemlist, Gary, you can build a sequence where it says, send the first email. If nobody watches it or opens it, wait two days, view their LinkedIn profile. Three days after that, and this is all automated, three days after that, send a LinkedIn message. If no responses, send another email. If no responses, send another LinkedIn And you can do unlimited as many as you want. And you can customize each message for each person automatically based on your CSV file in your campaign. So we went from having to send 200 manual video messages to not having to do it at all. Here is where this comes into play. With Tavis, we film one sales video. The AI will then change the name of the person we film it for automatically. Say we have 200 people that we have in our list. We film one video customized for those 200 people, but then it says, hey, John, it'll change the John to whoever it is we're sending it to. Gary, this is where it gets even crazier. Lemlist and Tavis have landing pages built in where the video is going to be integrated and your calendar link is going to be there and it's a custom landing page. It's going to say, hey, John, thanks for clicking on the link. In this video, you're going to find A, B, C, and D. If you have any questions, let us know. And if you'd like to chat, book a meeting below. It sends that customized link to every single person automated, automated with Tavis and with the other people. So now we can do video prospecting at scale without having to hire team members. And the only thing we have to do is get really good at list building, which isn't that hard on sales nav. Crazy. Yeah, that's really, really awesome. I actually took notes right there. So I'm going to be testing some of that personally. How, how far are you into the process? Yeah, I've been trying to build this for like a week or two, really trying to learn how to segment lists and, and build the right thing. But we have Lemlist. You know, we, we're trying to see how we can move forward with Tavis here and give this a shot. I'm playing around with HubSpot. Uh, it's a matter of just sitting down, writing the sequences and getting really good at segmenting lists. And then we're just going to plug it in. And then eventually so the why plan can't is to you hire run, a really good why, VA. Why can't you just run this through just HubSpot? Is the Lemlist because it integrates with uh, LinkedIn? Uh, you probably can. If HubSpot has an email marketing, like a, like a cold email marketing service, I don't like it. HubSpot's really expensive as well. Lemlist is $99 a month. So it's like, wow. But, and that's but for it integrates with emails. LinkedIn, right? But you have to have sales navigator. So so Lemlist, Lemlist, this is where it gets even crazier, Gary. They have a Chrome extension for lead enrichment. So you can upload your leads, and I'm still learning how to use this, but from my understanding, you can upload your leads in the LinkedIn Chrome extension for Lemlist, and it will automatically scan their LinkedIn profile. And so in the Lemlist campaign, you can add a custom variable called icebreaker, and the AI will automatically write a personalized icebreaker based on what you've enriched it with. Insane. Wait, we'll say Insane. that one more time. I want to hear that one more time. We'll do that one more time. 
This is yes, this is yes. very I'm, useful. Just so you know, like this is I'm sitting here thinking, and it's giving me a bunch of crazy, ideas. So right? I know people listening to this. This is going to bring a lot of value to them. So so walk me through that one more time. Well, yeah, I'll do it one more time here. I um not 100% on this. I'm learning this. So please go figure this out for yourselves. But from my learning so far and from my chat with their support, here's my understanding. Lemlist has a Chrome extension. When you get your leads on LinkedIn, you can scan the profile of the lead that you have on LinkedIn and the AI and the computer will automatically save a screenshot of that profile. When you're creating your Lemlist campaign, you can add a custom variable that is called icebreaker. And when you insert it into your email template, the AI will automatically, based on what you uploaded in the CSV file, which not to confuse anybody, that's just a downloaded spreadsheet with your information like the prospect's first name, last name, email, phone number, the information that they need to actually send the emails, right? And if you have a section there called icebreaker, it will copy and paste that and hyper and do hyper personalization at scale based on what it enriched, which means the information it got from the LinkedIn profile for each individual prospect, which is crazy. The computer will automatically match it. And that means, guys, you can do hyper personalized emails at scale through Lemlist without having to write each individual email. That's insane. And then and then you can schedule them out. So you have a list of 200 people. You can send 20 emails a day for the next 10 days and not have to touch a single thing. That's insane. I mean, that's just mind-blowingly yeah, yeah. good. It is. And you have an, a personalized uh, video in the middle when you combine Tavius. See, here's if you the use thing. Tavis. Yep. Yeah, Tavius. Um, the, here's the interesting thing, Derek, is that notice how we're having to use all these different softwares, right? So you got to use this one and combine yeah. it with this one and do it with this one. What's going to happen is if someone's going to hear all this stuff or someone's out there already building it going, no, 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 just get this one thing or LinkedIn as an example. Hey, on our sales navigator, you can do all of this too. And it's only $10 more a month. And this is where we kind of, I started to go down, but I wanted to hear your story a little bit more. The, the, a lot of these big companies are adding AI and these functions that are just automatic that it's a computer doing. It's not a lot. Of, there's no labor costs. There's no anything. They just add it in. So that's why I was telling you, I don't think these Taviuses of the world and those kind of companies, yeah, the one or two might pop off because they have some kind of proprietary thing, but most of it is people are just going to like loom as an example. They're just going to be like, Hey, we can do AI videos now. Just record a video and we'll, we know your voice already and you can just do it and it's free or it's $5 more a month. And that's, you'll see these companies spike and then go out of business because that's why chat GPT is open source. It's free. Yeah. It's basically yep. free and open source yep. because they knew that they knew we're not going to be able to protect this. So let's open it up and then add it on to Microsoft. Microsoft paid them. That's how they made money. And now they've already made it. And so now they can help Microsoft become better as a company in multiple different ways. And the secret is they charge for their API. And I learned this recently. I had no idea how this worked until Tweet Hunter went down. So recently, if you guys are familiar with Tweet Hunter, Gary, it's a software that allows you to grow your Twitter by using AI to write content and schedule out posts and queue them up. Uh, it's a very popular platform. And they got shut down by Twitter accidentally because of the new API changes. The new Twitter API is insane. And they're charging developers like $42,000 per month yeah. just for using it. That's an egregious amount of money. I'm sorry, but that's crazy. Yeah. But despite that... Well, that's normal. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, I learned that recently. I had no idea. I thought APIs were free, but apparently mm -hmm. they're not. So they charge developers for it, which makes sense. It's actually game changing because now I understand how all these companies that are free actually make money, right? Which is interesting. But I think that's how these companies can win. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Loom even maybe like acquires something like Tavis. I eventually, honestly, like Talonly... Loom, something like Tavis, something like Lemlist, they should be under the same roof. Yeah. And a sales product it should like all, this, It should like, all be under Google Calendar, and I should just be able to hit it ooh. all on my calendar, right? Like, Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be crazy. Like, if Google did all of that, I mean, that would be game-changing. Now, the problem with that, and I guess this is why there's so many separate companies, Gary, this is my take on it, I think it would be too... Like, HubSpot comes to mind. HubSpot's so overwhelming. They do, like, all of this stuff, and HubSpot might already have this, but they're so expensive, and they have, they do so much that it made me not even want to work with them despite their CRM being completely free. It took me three years to warm up to doing business with them. When it comes to something like Calendly or Tavis, it's really straightforward what they do. They specialize in one thing and it's $10 a month for Calendly. Tavis is more expensive. So it's a lot easier. The barrier of entry is a lot easier. So maybe that's why there's, they haven't like combined That's all You want to know room. the funny because part is HubSpot's actually very, very simple. You could look at Salesforce. You think HubSpot's overwhelming? Salesforce is like uh, literally... 50 times, 100 times more complicated. Pipe drive as well. They're all really complex. They're really complicated to the point where I just get overwhelmed and I go back to Google Sheet. So I'm like, I can make it myself. I can download this as a CSV file. But if you learn the tools, they're actually game-changing. The automation is behind them. And if you put that upfront investment in, 
you won't like it'll, it'll change from doing everything manually to like you do thing one thing one time and then it's automatically done for you but gary i don't know if that's game changing i yeah. think a lot of our wanna, listeners can take talk, advantage of that let's talk through that a little bit more are you sending the emails through uh, uh lem list yes the, the lem list automatically sends the emails and they're pulling and they those emails Lemwarm. from from linkedin the csv file or the where, or hubspot yeah where are you getting those emails from like I said before, SalesNav. So we prospect on SalesNav, which is right? LinkedIn. So, so what I'm doing now, and sales yes, Nav is so on LinkedIn. LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Okay. Here's the here's the process. So we have LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which costs about 150 dollars a month, I think. We go on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. We set our criteria for our exact lead that we want. LinkedIn Sales Navigator will then populate every single person on LinkedIn who fits that bill. We then create lists on LinkedIn with a certain amount of prospects. And I'm learning this actively now, so this might change. This is kind of just what we're doing now. I then use a service called Seamless AI. Seamless AI allows you to scan a large list of people at once to find all the email information. From Seamless, we can then download a CSV file with now it has the person's name, company, title, uh, email, like who, their phone number, all of that stuff. We can then now, and this is my new process I'm learning now, is take that CSV file and upload it to a HubSpot or to HubSpot CRM. And it will automatically populate based on the template that we have in HubSpot and the template we have in Seamless with the right variables, first name, last name, company, email address, location, title, et cetera. And Seamless, Seamless is what helps you do that because... Find the emails. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Seamless is great. There's a million tools out there that can do it. Most of them are about the same as Seamless, but Seamless charges a yearly plan and they sold me on it. So whatever, if I would have known there were other people, I might have got somewhere else. I'm a little biased. I went to a bunch of Seamless events for those of you listening. So I met Brandon, the CEO, like all that stuff. So I'm biased towards Seamless, but um, they're a great product, bottom line. They're building some cool things and they've, they've had the name AI for the last six years. So they've been a little bit ahead of the curve there, Seamless AI. Uh, but I digress. So we take that, we upload it to HubSpot. We then have a um, connection between HubSpot and LemList. And so we go to the list in HubSpot, and this is where I'm still learning this, but we go to the list in HubSpot, upload that list to a new campaign in LemList, and then we set the parameters. We set how many emails a day we want. We build the email templates like, hey, this is what we want the first message to say. This is what the sequence looks like. So we want to send an email, wait two days, view the LinkedIn profile, wait a day, send a LinkedIn, like whatever it is. It can custom as much as you want to the point where you can even send manual tasks there. We're like, hey, in three days, if someone doesn't respond to this, send a message to Derek to send them a custom Instagram message. Like You can even do that, right? Obviously, the AI doesn't do that. You have to manually do it yourself. Um, but that's that's how, you know, effective this software is. And then it automatically will send those emails and it will stop the sequence the second somebody replies to your email or your LinkedIn message. And that's it. It's that simple. Now with Tavis, right? Again, from what I was mentioning before, we can film one video and have the AI change the personalized variables. Just like in Lemless, you just change the variables. It transcribes it. You change it, say, hi, you put the first name variable, the company, whatever it is that you want. And you can do unlimited different customizations as long as you have it in your CSV, which is also crazy. Uh, and then that's it. And then you can have an integration through, they said through Zapier, right? Um, and I got to learn this. I haven't tried it yet, where you can have, you, you can put the personalized video link into HubSpot for each person. And then when you have in your CSV file in HubSpot, the category for the video link, Lemlist will automatically populate that video link into each individual email without you having to touch a thing. It's off to the races from there. You just did hyper-personalized video outreach at scale. Yep. And then now you can go and send it to a million people if you want really, really quickly and follow up with them and nurture them. Except sending it to a million people will cost you about half a million dollars because Tavis charges like 35 cents for every half a million videos. So it'll cost, it'll cost like 400 grand. But yeah, that's about right. Yeah. But it'll change. That will change over time. And and it'll, the cost will come down. I really down. hope it does. Yeah. yeah. I, get, I hope it, it does. Guaranteed I really it hope will. it does. Guaranteed, yeah. This, this, is, uh, this kind of technology is always um, uh, deflationary. Uh, technology is always deflationary. So if you think about it, yeah. I pay, what, a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks for my phone. Well, there's more computer power in my phone than what they had in the first rocket ship that went to the moon, right? And how much <laughs> do you think that, how much do you think that computer cost them to build? Like yeah. it was stupid money, millions and millions and millions yep. and millions and millions of dollars. And probably now it'd be even more, but it's cheaper now because technology is deflationary. So especially this kind of scalability software, it's you're just going to see free stuff pop up and uh, um, really push push out. Especially people who already know our voices, like like you said, Loom already knows all of my voices because my it's yep. already because Tavius yep. for the audience. You have to go through about an hour of voice training on it, so it learns your voice, so it can replace words for you, so it can say. At the beginning of the video, hey Derek, hey Steve, hey right, and it changes it. But 
a lot of these companies already have our voice. It's already been tracking it. It's already been monitoring it. So that, <laughs> crazy, that will, crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So just to go over this again. So it's sales nav. You go to sales nav, which is on LinkedIn. We'll give you a list so you can create a whole target list. For me, I want dentist. For Derek, he wants certain kinds of uh, uh, entrepreneurs. So you build that list. You build out the qualification. Once you get that list, you put it into seamless AI. Seamless AI is going to then pull, find the emails and the contact information for that list. You then load it into Lemlist, which is different than Seamless. So Lemlist is the next one. And that's where you're going to be able to integrate with your CRM and be able to send not only emails, but DMs and text and all these different things to reach out to these people in different modes. And then with Tavius.io, you're going to be able to film a video that addresses each person personally and adds any other personal touches that you want to add. That's the cool thing about Tavia says it's not just the name. You can say, Hey, this you could, for me as an example, I could reach out and say, Hey, I wanted to talk to you about your ortho office, or I wanted to talk to you about your GP office, or I wanted to talk to you about your implant office. And then, and then having a CRM to tie it all together, a hub spot or something like that. And my recommendation, just a quick hack there, and I'm learning this, but this is what I've learned so far. Make sure your list is segmented. So for you, that's a perfect example, Gary. You can go to your sales team and say, hey, give me a list of 500 people who have implant offices. Give me a list of 500 people who are just one shop dental practices that specialize in or who are ortho, whatever it is, right? Then the whole list is that. So in the video, Gary, instead of having to customize like a list where you have one dentist, one orthodontist, one and whatever else you just said, the whole list is that specific person. Then you don't have to make that a custom variable. Then you would just change the name and location maybe and the company name, right? That's one thing to keep in mind. That's where list segmenting comes in huge. I actually learned this from Seamless's sales event, um, where if you segment that list properly, you won't have to do that extra legwork. Where Because Gary, in order for the for Tavis to do that, you would have to customize that variable yourself in the CSV file already. Way extra work. If you yeah. didn't have to do that, the less personalization you have to do, the easier and faster. And name is the easiest one of all of them. Um, but yeah, that would be my advice there. But yeah, absolutely. You nailed it. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening to this episode of the Eight Figure Agency Show. If you found this one valuable, consider leaving us a review on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Gary, our clips have been blowing up. We have been doing one to two million views a month on TikTok and Instagram. TikTok has crossed over a thousand followers. Instagram has crossed nearly, I think, 5,000 followers now. So some really exciting growth on all of these platforms. And we are going to keep growing and we want you along with the ride or for the ride with us. Check us out on those platforms and consider listening each week, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time is when the episodes are live. Uh, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and listening to this episode of the Eight Figure Show. And until next time, peace. Peace.